Uh, greetings and salutations. This is Ray Cop coming at you from Denver, Colorado. With another episode of Not Alone Scooter Guy. Today we're going to take a look at XFC desktop environments, multi monitor setup. How do you do it? Because there's some situations where it has problems, even with OBS, apparently. So, let's take it into it already. Here we have it. This is what it looks like when. And it has all icons on the right side, left side, and the menu bar on the bottom, the standard XFC setup. Now I'm doing this to OpenSUSE because OpenSUSE is where I first learned how to do all this stuff in. And because I had so much problems figuring out how to get it done, I got it done finally after a while. Found out enough pieces of the puzzle to figure this out. So, anyway, that's what I'm doing here today. I'm going to show you how to set it up. So what happens is when you plug it in the HDMI cable, you have problems. Now on the lower screen, I'm on the laptop's monitor, and all the icons and the menu and everything disappeared. It actually moved up to the upper to the uh, monitor number two of the Acer monitor. Whatever you want to refer to it by. Actually up here in the, in the extended monitor setup. Now why XFC does this, I don't know. It seems like it's a complication. They say it's because uh, it treats the whole uh, multi-monitor setup as one giant screen or something. So why puts up there, I don't know though. Weird. So anyway, that's where you had it. It's you know, it's extending to the left of the, the primary. And when you're extending to the right, it extends. I don't know how it knows this, but it extends this to the right. So it makes its primary monitor and puts everything there, and it, it puts a blank over here on the on the extended monitor. So anyway, regardless of why it does it, it does it. And so I need to figure out how to move everything back where it should be. So I like to have my uh, monitors underneath one another, so to the right and left of each other. So that's what I do. So I display settings. I take my laptop monitor. I'll put it underneath this one. Usually when, when on default, whenever you plug in your monitor, no, and there's no primary display connected. So I I will put this as primary display for future reference. Because that's what I'm going to do. Click apply. I well, remember I did this because it's very important later on. You uh, right click on it. Your panel, middle preferences. You can click the unlock panel by clicking on the slot panel, clean, clear it. You know, so you do little gripper things appear on the end of it. Right there, or on this end. You can grab those, you move wherever you want, wherever you want to move it to. To the up and way on the, the monitor. But we're going to leave it there for the time being. That's where we want to, we want it on top because, yeah, in this situation where you have a, where you got up and downs, yeah, you don't want to have to cross two whole screens to get to your preference if it's the bottom of the screen. You don't have to cross two screens like you're doing some up here on the monitor two. You want to go down to monitor one, you don't want to go all the way down here, get to your, to your, Panel purposes, stuff like that. Panels. So, you ready with that said? It's moved it back over here. Strange. I tell you, you see this weird stuff sometimes. Let me show you what to do, how to fix it, do I? 
So it's because I moved the primary monitor. So yeah, these don't normally follow there, but uh, you go to desktop settings. Your icons. Yeah, so if they don't move first time when you switch to primary, you need to click this here and it'll say show prime show icons on primary display. And then since you made the laptop primary display, it's gonna show them there. Ready? You can select here which ones you want on there, if any. You can turn them all off, whichever one you want. But even if you turn them all off, you probably want to do that so that any new thing, like you save some desktop or something, it'll show up on your laptop screen and primary display, as opposed to on you know on the monitor two somewhere, some somewhere like that. Okay, so now I think you're starting all funky door and fine, don't you? Yeah, yeah, well, not really because. What happens when you when you disconnect and reconnect it? It scatters everything around. Yeah, your menu appear in one place and your icons appear in another. See what I mean here and right here when I disconnect this. And it also scope up yes. You have disconnected now it looks fine on the on there. But when we put this back over, what's gonna happen? Okay, so where did the menu go, you say to yourself? Well, guess where the menu went? It went back up to your monitor, too. And you also notice it goes back to that because the only way it knows how to do that. Customize, you have to set up display settings differently. So, how you fix this problem? Go back to display settings, you move everything back to where you want it. You had to release that. So you need to just place it like that. And yeah, I don't remember it anyway. What happens is you set all this up. And then once it's set, then you go up here to the advanced tab. You need to advance, you set a profile for it. Create new. So my profile. You can call us whatever you want. You can call it Kitty or or my super duper whooper profile, whatever you want to call it. You know, give it a name. Now, when that my profile has saved all the profile information that you said in there automatically. Now, if you want to change this something, you can leave it to show dialogue. Or you can change it to mirror if you're going to do mirrored, or extended if you're going to extend it on this regular basis. And you click this on, automatically enable profiles and new displays connected. Hey, okay, you're done. Now, when when we have this. Now when we have this set up over there, we unplug and plug it in and it should plug back in. It should show everything as it was before, just like this without changing anything. Okay. Okay. So I mean, it's still showing this on there, and we'll show that. Or now I'll plug in the monitor back in. Okay, so as you can see, when we plugged it back in, the menu appeared back in where it should. So, yeah, so it works every time. We'll reset your things where they should be. All you have to do is just do that little advanced section, and then you can do it too. Pretty simple, huh? So, 
That's uh, the VXXFC's multi-function menu. Hopefully I can piece this together so it's not too hard to understand. Yeah, OBS, it screws up OBS too, so I had to figure out how to work that. So I showed everything. Hope you like this video and hope it's helpful for you. Subscribe if you have a mind to and like the video and all that good stuff. We'll see you in the next one. Till next time, remember, I made a list for us to be with you. Bye.